Hello and welcome to a new series where we're going to be taking a look at the Methley Joint Railway. Now the Methley Joint Railway ran all the way from Loftus in the east and all the way over to Methley on the other side and joined the main line there and then it, it carried on further into Castleford as well. So we're going to be taking a look at the whole stretch all the way from here in Loftus and all the way down to Castleford. So we're going to be starting here today. I'm now currently at the Outwood train station which is on the main line from Leeds to London. I'll just show you around here a little bit. So we're currently at the Outwood station. So these are where your main line services run all the way down to London. And we're going to be taking a look at where the line started at this side here. So on this map here you can see where the line left the main Leeds to London line and headed out west towards Methley. If you look down at the bottom side of the map here, you can see that the original line, there was a station called Lofthouse Station. So I'm currently at Outward Station, which has replaced the Lofthouse Station. So this is a modern station. Now I say modern, it's quite old, but in terms of the railway, it's modern. And the old original Lofthouse Station was just a bit further south from where the current station stands today. So I'm going to be leaving outward station here and we're going to take a walk up to the bridge at the top and I'm going to try show you where the original Lofthouse station site was. Now I'm not sure, I've never been here before so I'm not sure if there's anything left of that station so we're going to take a look. So I'll just quickly show you one more time, this is outward station here and then we're going to head up to the bridge which is up this way and I'm going to show you what remains of the Lofthouse station, if anything does anyway. So now on the bridge, which overlooks the Outward station, uh, I'll just show you down here so you can see the station. So there's Outward station down there. Now the Methley Joint Railway, it branched off in like a triangle from this line. So just at the top up there behind them trees, it would have banked off down there. The Methley Joint Railway heads off in that direction, just over there. So it would have split off there for trains coming down and then it split off just at the other side here. So just as it came under the bridge it would have gone off in that direction. So like a triangle. But the original left out station was on this side of the bridge. So it was on the main line just like this one but it was a much older version of a station over and show you that right now. So I'm on the other side of the bridge and from the outward station. Now this is where the Lofthouse station would have been. I'm told it was on the left side there. So again this is the same line that outward station is on and the original station would have been that side. I'm not sure if they had a platform this side as well. I'll take a look at the old maps and see if they did but I know it was on this line here on this side. So here's the view just a bit further down. I'm presuming where this house is here is where the station was. And this could have been the station platform here where this hedge is. Looks like it to me. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is this is where the line starts. So I'm gonna start following the route all the way through right to the other side in Castleford. So we're gonna head down the bridge. I've got to go around the long way because at the minute uh, it's all overgrown and there's houses on this side now. So what I'm going to do is try to get as close to the original start point as I can. So we'll see you up there. I'm going to head this way. So we're just heading down the other side of the Outward Station now. And we're going to what is called the Railway Terrace. I'll just show you the sign there. So that still exists today. Now these houses would have been on the side of the bottom side of the triangle, the branch, that went off into the Methley Joint Railway. These houses are still here and they're just down here on the right. So we'll head down there and that's, that's probably as close as I can get to where the line started. Now the other side where the top side of the triangle branched off. I could take you up there but at the minute it's just a field so you're not going to see anything. And it's also the site of where the Lofthouse Colliery was as well. It was just behind that there. And just after where the East West Yorkshire Union Railway left the main line as well. So if you remember in my first video for the East West Yorkshire Union Railway that started about 
four or five hundred yards further up the main line. That's where that branched off. So the two lines within a short distance. So I was just on my way up to the uh, railway terrace and I've just spotted this little path that comes off the road there. And I think this is the line here. So this is where it would have left the main line. Now I'll just show you around here. So the main line is just over there, running that direction there. And the line from the Method Joint Railway would have headed up this way through these trees here. So as you can see, there's a nice level flat path there. So it would have headed up towards the camera here. And I'm guessing up that way there. Now the railway terrace is just there through the trees. So if I take you for a closer look at that, that was right onto the side of the line, that backed onto the line. So this is what is known as the railway terrace. So these houses backed onto the railway line there. So we're going to head back down here into the trees and I'm going to try to follow the line all the way up from here. So I've also just looked at the old map again and this pathway that I'm on now existed back in the day of the railway as well. There was a crossing or a bridge over the railway just here where I am now. So like I said, the tracks would have run this way through there. Them houses did back onto the railway and then there was a bridge here across and this was a footpath back in the day. So I'm going to keep headed up this way, see how far we can get. So the main line, the Methley Joint Railway was just to my right here in the trees and I'm following the route of the line on a pathway at the side of it. But just behind me here, it's now a playing field but this is where the other branch line would have come across from the main line. So it would have come down this way through this field here and met up with the line down here so you had a triangle. And just over there in the distance was the site of the colliery, the Lofthouse Colliery, which was all that site there at the back. And it's also where we started our first video for the East West Yorkshire Union Railway, just up there in the distance. So I've just headed off the, the pathway up there in the field and I've come down into the trees. I thought, why am I walking alongside it? Let's go down and have a look. So <laughs> here I am. So I've moved further down and it's a bit dark in here because it's obviously the trees and everything. But we're now on the track bed, so I'll just show you around. There's a stream down here as well. At this point here, I'm not sure if the track was here or on that side there. But I'm going to have a, a wander around and see if I can find any relics of anything. So it's definitely in here, coming this way. So I'm going to try and go as far as I can without going up there. So I think this is roughly where the two lines converged from the triangle into the main line and off this way in towards Castleford and Methley. So I think the uh, outward station line or the Lofthouse station line would have come this way and then just up there slightly raised would have been the one that came in from the field there. Like I said that field is all a higher level now and it's all been uh, re-landscaped but I think that would have come down this side the stream's in the middle there and then they would have joined just a bit further down here so we're going to keep going down so i've just got to a, a crossing uh, over the stream a little bridge and this is definitely made out of railway sleepers if you look down there you can see the original sleepers there they've even got the bolt holes in there look all the way along so the original method joint railway sleepers no doubt you still see the imprints of where the track sat on there as well. There's one on this side as well. And some in the floor. I think this whole bridge is made out of sleepers. So I'm walking along the original track bed here. And we're about to hit what's called Pot Ovens Lane. And that's the first point where the railway would have gone underneath the road on a bridge, in a, under a bridge. And it's just that head down here, so we're going to see if there's anything left of that bridge. I'm also told as well that this pathway here is original. And this little kennel, or pathway, or snicket, whatever you want to call it in Yorkshire, used to head up to the colliery, which is quite a fair way up there. So this used to come down, and it crossed the line here. And I think, I mean these are all new houses now, but I think it headed off that way. So we're going to continue up this way. I'm also noticing at the side of the path as well, a lot of the original concrete railway posts that you see a lot of now. Still some hidden away in the trees. So we've just reached Pot Ovens Lane. 
and the path is leading me up to the road not underneath the road like it should do so what I'm going to do is just have a look to see if there's a bridge any bridge remains left on the road up here so I hit the road now and you can see the hump in the road there as it goes up you can clearly see where the bridge was here so let's just take a look down here I think it's all been filled in now yeah the line was here on the right running this way as you can see it's level with the, the roadside now so yeah this bridge has been filled in coming this way and also the same on the other side there's actually a house over there and just behind this fence panel here you can actually see the original railway bridge see if I can get you in there so that's the original wall of the railway bridge there for some reason it's been fenced off I don't know why okay so the next section of line which ran from Pot Ovens Lane Bridge where we just were and all the way over to the Wakefield Road A61 um, is now all new houses so you can't walk the line there it's actually people's back gardens now so what I've done I've just headed up around the back and I'm going to go across and back down so I'm going to meet it where the line came out on the A61 and see if there's any remains of a bridge over there I'm going to keep heading down as much as I can of the track bed I'm going to follow but like I said at this point you can't follow it really so I'm going to make my way around the houses and see you at the other side down there so I'll catch up with you when we get to the A61 so I've managed to find a little footpath that went down the back of the houses uh, I didn't see it on the maps but I've just found a path so I'm now back on the original track bed just before it met the A61 bridge so just here we've got the Woodman Inn pub which is just there that's the A61 on the other side of that building and this is where the track ran down here as you can see like I said there's houses there now and they're back gardens of houses but I managed to come down here this little footpath here this is where the track would have run that way so we're going to follow it down and uh, hopefully there'll be some kind of a bridge at the end where it hits the A61 Wakefield Road I've been dying to come down here now for absolutely ages obviously you're aware of what's been going on and uh, we've, not been, uh, we've not been able to get out and the weather's been so good for videoing and I've just been dying to get out but I've actually been in the house for probably six weeks now not left at all and uh, I thought you know what today I'm going out I'm going to do a walk I'm going to walk a few miles and I'm going to video the method joint railway while I'm out so that's why I'm here today and uh, yeah hopefully you're going to enjoy it I'm absolutely shattered because I haven't moved for weeks and the weather today has just turned it's absolutely awful so every day this week it's been beautiful sunshine and then today it rains and it's cold and it's wet so yeah typical right we've reached the A61 now so it's just up there so this looks like it's been infilled this would have been the bridge under here so you can see the line behind me coming towards and then I'm faced with that so I'm just gonna have a dig around again another bridge made out of railway sleepers there with very old ones as well they look original to me and we've got a little uh, culvert underneath there so there's a stream just going alongside the railway line that goes underneath the A61 there and I'm going to head up this way up these uh, steeper stairs to the main road up there and try to continue down the other side but yeah there's nothing left here it's been filled in as you can see and it's all heavily wooded now so now on the A61 at Outwood you've just got the co up there as you can see the bridge is completely gone so the lines down there as you can see would have come underneath here you can still see the hump in the road so it's probably just been infilled but there's no bridge abutments on either side so what I'm going to do is head over this way behind the co-op and lucky for me it's now a public footpath all the way along the original track bed so now there's absolutely nothing left there this side either but you can see the cutting down there quite deep actually 
probably 20, 20 feet down. And it comes, that's A61 up there. And then this path is going to meet the line just down here. So you can see down there, look. So that's the original line there, and we're going to head on this way. So I'll get back to you if I find anything down this way, or if I come across any other bridges or remains. So I'll see you a bit further down. Okay, so at this point we're at now, um, I've just reached the road and I've just come out of there, that's the main line there, so it would have continued in that direction that I'm going to head now. But just at this point here, there was a bridge somewhere, I think it might have been here, where the road is now. The line continued across there and underneath this bridge was a tramway. I think the tramway was somewhere up there. But we are going to look at that tramway in a future video. So when we get to that video, I will revisit this spot here and do a bit more research. But the tramway crossed underneath. The tramway ran from the colliery up there and all the way down to uh, the Stanley Ferry, which is the where the canal, the navigation is down there. So when I get to the tramway video, I'll explain a bit more about that there. That's where it crossed underneath the Methley Joint Railway. And uh, also at the top of that tramway, there is a rumoured section of the East West Yorkshire Union Railway that was never built as well. And again, we'll take a look at that in a future video. I'm going to come down here in the summer with uh, somebody that's got a bit more knowledge on that. And we're going to look at that. So anyway, let's keep going down the Methley Joint. I'm going to get back onto the line again. It's taking me on a bit of a detour off the main line. And I'm going to join it just over here in front of me and continue down that way. Okay, so at this point here now where we are, I've just followed the line this way, across the field. And you can see it now turns into a residential street. This does follow the original track bed in this direction here. So I'm going to head down all the way that way until I reach another road at the end where there would have been a bridge again. So I got to the end of that residential street I just showed you and it came through an abrupt end and uh, just at the end of the cul de sac. But you could see where the track went into a cussing, ready to go underneath the bridge that's coming up on this road here. So what I've done is I've walked all the way around and I'm absolutely shattered and uh, I'm going to see if there's anything left of the bridge underneath this road here that I'm on now. So at this point it was in a cutting down to my left here. So let's head up here and see if there's anything left. Okay, so here we go, we have a bridge left. So these houses here, that's where I came up there. And I got stuck there because you can't get out from that road onto this line. But you can see it would have run underneath here. It has been infilled down here because it's a lot higher now. But you can see the bridge wall here. And you can also see where they filled in the cutting there. So that would have been down there. And you can also see the bridge there on the next road ahead. Again, it's been infilled. We'll go take a closer look at that. So I hope you hope you enjoyed the first section there. Like I said, it was a bit of a last minute decision to come out. And the weather's not too great, so I apologize for that. Um, I'm hoping to get some nice and bright videos coming up, hopefully. Fingers crossed anyway. But it's actually just started raining now. So what I'm going to do is end it here for this video. So this was the Loft House Station section of the Methley Joint Railway. The next section you're going to see me do will be from this bridge just behind the camera, which will cover Stanley Station. So we've now reached Stanley. So we'll cover Stanley Station 
and then on towards Newmarket Colliery that way. And then obviously then there'll be the Methley section and the Castleford section as well. So I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for joining us on Adventure Me. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Any comments you'll have, drop them down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.